Achieving success in football is difficult enough, but maintaining that success is seen as a mammoth task, so changes and developments are inevitable. During the summer months of 1991, known in football as the close season, the board of directors, along with the officials of the club, worked themselves into exhaustion to ensure that Stockport County were ready for life in Division 3. The developments were threefold. The priority was to make the club attractive to family supporters, and to this aim, some comfortable style bucket seats were introduced on the prime viewing site in front of the main stand, encouraging the fans of the future to Edgeley Park. As part of this development, an easily accessible disabled area was also introduced to make life more comfortable for the many handicapped spectators at Stockport County. Administrative efficiency was next on the Edgeley Park shopping list, and helped by a family football grant rewarding the club for its family initiatives, the club were able to build a new office block. As well as increasing efficiency, this increased ticket sales, as supporters had easy access to the ticket booths. Finally, the club developed a retail unit and an executive lounge. The retail area enabled the club to stock a large range of souvenirs, promoting the club and its sponsors. The executive lounge provided a pleasant setting for local businessmen to gather and socialise on match days. This facility is also open to the sponsors for business seminars and meetings. The developments in and around the ground represented the new image of Stockport County Football Club. All that was missing now was the new image on the field. On August the 10th, 1992, the club took delivery of the new team strip, a strip that set the fans and general public gasping. When the team took to the field for the opening match in the new division, the kit represented how far Stockport County had come in such a short space of time. It was important to start where we had left off, and we did just that, with an opening day five goal celebration against a somewhat bewildered Swansea team.
success on the field in turn brings success and an enhanced image to all companies involved with the club. So it was imperative to maintain the footballing standards and had taken county from the fourth division to the third. Held by the managerial excellence of team manager Danny Bagara, the financial commitment of the board of directors, the vocal cords of an ever-increasing band of supporters and the sponsorship of many UK companies, Stockport County went from strength to strength. The nation started to take notice of this ambitious football club and its sponsors, Cobra Lager, who found themselves on television, radio and newspapers almost every day. success also took County into the promotion sector of the third division, a position that Stockport County have occupied all season. Second division football would bring Stockport County just one step away from the cream of the best league in the world. So as an indication of the club's ambitions and their commitment to maintain success, the club rewarded team manager Danny Bagara with a five-year contract, making him one of the highest paid managers outside the Premier Division. Danny's ability to coach and motivate his players whilst at the same time worked to a strict budget, coupled with his on-field success, earned him the Manager of the Month award for January 1992.
companies use the excitement and friendly atmosphere that prevails at Ateley Park to impress their clients, and many a large business deal has been struck in the sponsor's lounge. As part of the corporate package, the club use their own media such as their highly rated Max magazine, their public address system and their electronic scoreboard to convey the image of the partaking companies to the people of Stockport. Park itself is a hive of activity for companies wishing to improve their image and raise their profile to the nation. With the television cameras at every game, every site possible is being made available for companies to promote their company image to the people of Stockport and the nation via the TV network. The sites come in all shapes and sizes and all make their way into press pictures, television screens and the conversations of supporting business people. Stockport County also have two very unique sites available only to main sponsors. The first is the roof of the stands, which lies directly underneath the flight path of all incoming aircraft at Manchester International Airport. This is prime site advertising at its best, relaying the name of the company to businesses and passengers from all over the world, as they prepare to land at one of the country's busiest airports, just six miles away from Edgley Park. Another third division club, Brentford, have a similar advantage as they lie close to Heathrow Airport and KLM Dutch Airlines have been quick to take up sponsorship with great success. Stockport County also have the unique advantage of backing onto the country's busiest railway line which runs from Manchester to the heart of London. This route carries a minimum of 22 million people every year and each passenger would find it very difficult to miss Edgeley Park as all trains stop at Stockport Station. The advertising potential here is enormous. Add to these benefits the usual advantages gained from having your name flashed across television screens every week by the club's players' shirts, and you have the complete package for increasing the profile of your company, associating your name with success and enhancing your image as a community caring company. Stockport is one of the biggest towns in Europe. Stockport County are about to become one of the biggest teams in Europe. The worldwide screening of Liverpool or Manchester United versus Stockport County is just a couple of seasons away. Make sure that your company is on the shirts, boards and roofs of Stockport County and your company names will be on the tongues of the world. Stockport County Football Club, a sign of friendship, caring and success. <laughs>